In this tutorial, we will start uh, from the wheel and we will texture it. So I will uh, click the wheel from here or I can hit control with alt with right click to choose the wheel right like this. Uh, hitting uh, alt with right click and moving the mouse forward and backward that will make the zoom and rotating the middle mouse that will zoom in and zoom out and to rotate or orbit around the object you need to hit left click and orbit like this with alt I will delete this layer the first one and I will use a fill layer this one uh, I can hide everything the tire and the logo I don't want to use height or normal I will uh, change the color to black metal like this maybe I need to crank this up a little bit and give it a little bit of specular changing the roughness so the base layer will be something shiny I will take the color up and metallic This looks good. Maybe take the color up again, like this. Rotating the environment around the objects is by hit shift and right click and moving the mouse left uh, or right, like this. After that, I will add uh, a dirt uh, map to the roughness because I want to break this clarity by adding something like uh, dirt map or grunge. So I will go to this uh, to the grunge and search for a suitable uh, texture. A grunge scratch dirty, I think, is the best solution, and you can choose whatever map you need from this shelf. So I will take this and add it right here. And as you see, roughness is affected by this map. I can adjust this uh, by editing the balance and contrast to get the result that I want. I think this is good result and good start. All right, that's cool. That's the first thing. Second thing, I want to add a height map above this map. So before that, you should name, give a name for this layer. I will call it pace. And I will add a fill layer and turn these uh, maps off and leave the height. Now after that I will choose Grange Scratch uh, Dirt, this map, and I will add it uh, in the height, and as you see it is very mass and the effect is very powerful so it need to be edited. I will manipulate the balance. If you need further editing, choose the layer and give it a level 
and from the affected kernel choose the height because you need to manipulate the height go back to the kernel and hit inverts I want to invert the kernel and go back to the height again Now I get a very subtle effect and that's what I want. You can add uh, a filter in here, add a filter and you can choose a sharpen to uh, sharpen the effect a little bit. Don't forget to choose the height because you want to target the height and turn off everything. I will go to very small amount, 0 0.08, like this. After that, I will add a paint layer, but before that, I will change the name of this layer. I will call it height. And I will add another fill layer and I will change it to black from the color to black like this and for metallic I will make it reflected uh, material and give it a roughness like this after that I will add black mask black mask and everything will disappear because I added a black mask after that I will add a smart mask from uh, the shelf I will choose this one, stain surface, drag it and put it above the black mask like this. And as you see, I got very nice result. It's almost like what I want. All right, now you can go to the parameters and manipulate the channels. For example, crunch, crunch paint, you can push the balance up a little bit to get rid of uh, some of this crunch this result looks fine maybe I go to uh, manipulate the mask builder you can change the crunch amount from here but no that's too much Now this result is, looks fine. I will add another uh, fill layer and I will call this black paint and I will add another fill layer above it and I will uh, deselect these channels and leave the color and give it a gray color like this one. And after I added the black mask, I will add a fill layer. And as you see, 
uh, everything the roughness is too high so we need to break the roughness by choosing one of the texture right here I will choose this one crunch scratch and put it in the grayscale in here and as you see the texture is breaks the roughness a little bit and you can edit it by changing the balance if you think that's too much and manipulating the contrast I can add level above this uh, layer add level reduce the opacity a little bit now it's cool I like this result so I will call this layer dirt roughness now I want to add a dirt above everything so I will add uh, another fill layer and I will call it dirt and I will take the roughness up and color I will change the color change the color picker to uh, to dynamic and pick whatever color you, you need change the height, uh, turn off the height now I will add black mask and after that I will use one of the smart mask and uh, I will choose this one, sand and put it right here and that's giving me this effect it's very powerful I need to reduce it a little bit go to mask editor and go to the global balance take this down and maybe you need to take the opacity a little bit like this now the wheel has become very old so that's for the wheel I will unhide the other parts tire but before uh, tire I will uh, complete the logo I will take the first layer and the uh, last one and hit shift and and click the last one and click control G to put them inside the file like this and and call it wheel material you can copy this material copy layer and go to the logo and paste it right here if you notice the difference between the difference in resolution between the logo and the wheel if I make zoom you will notice the resolution right here is very low and resolution right here in the logo is very high and that's because the UV map if I hit F1 from the keyboard or go to this icon and change it to 3d 2d this is uh, the UV map of the of the logo these small parts is following the 2k UV map and for the wheel if I click it control alt right click notice the part of the wheel is very small as compared with the UV map so that's affect the resolution of the UV map 
to avoid this uh, thing, if you don't like it, you should attach these parts in the 3D Studio Max or Blender or do, or whatever 3D software you use and repake it again. And that's will unite the UV and make them uh, the same. For me, that's not a problem. I will not uh, I will not care about this thing. I will go back to the 3D view and if you want to change uh, this uh, this logo you can add another layer and mask and you can change it to whatever uh, thing you want for me i will change this logo to the silver material i will go to the smart material and uh, i will choose prepared the material i will choose steel uh, scratch material and I'll put it above this material. Sorry, I should uh, choose the logo. I just forget that. I will delete it and go back to logo and put this over this material. That's cool. After that, I will add black mask. Go to mask, add black mask. And after that, I will add a paint layer and I will go to to this tool, Polygon Fill, and choose this choice here, Mix Fill, and click this logo. And as you see, now it's become silver. After that, turn off this icon or choose the brush. If you want to add some dirt above this material, it's very easy. Go to the to the material and add another fill layer above everything and color dust. And then add a mask, black mask, right click, black mask. And again, go to the uh, polygon fill and uh, click this mesh and make sure the color is white. Go to the material itself and change uh, and uh, turn off all the channel here and change the color to something like dirt. Like this. After that, you can add a paint layer above the mask and go to the brush and choose dirt two or whatever choice you need click control and right click and move the mouse to the right or left to uh, increase or decrease the size of the brush make sure to change the color to black and you can paint some area like this after that go back to the same layer and turn on the roughness and take the roughness up like this and keep painting until you get the results you want now I get this result <coughs> and it seems okay for me alright guys thank you for watching in the next tutorial we gonna take a the tire